In this video, I'm going to show you how to write a little bit of PHP code to connect with the MySQL server. It won't do any reading or writing to the database, but it will simply just demonstrate that uh, PHP and MySQL are connected. The code that we'll be using is this code. I won't bore you by typing it all in, but we'll walk through it line by line to give you a sense of what's going on. The first statement creates a connection using the function MySQL connect. The three arguments that are passed in are the server, the user, and the user's password. The server, if you recall from the video where we created a user and defined a password, the server was called localhost. And the username was user, and the password was user password. So that's why it was important to set up the username and password before trying to use MySQL from PHP. If this function call fails, PHP has a, a feature where it will terminate with this die statement and it'll print the message in the argument list for the die function. If this succeeds, it'll continue on to the next statement, which is the MySQL select DB function. That's effectively the equivalent of the use statement that we saw in the console demonstration. Once again, if the MySQL select DB call doesn't work, it'll terminate here with the die statement and print the message unable to select database. And if it makes it through both those calls, it connects and to the server and selects my database, it'll get to this statement, which will print the statement. The last line closes the connection to the MySQL server and the script then terminates. I've saved this as testmysqlconnection.php so let's open a browser window and run that PHP script. HTTP colon slash slash localhost slash test mysql connection and I've deliberately left something out of here to show you what happens when you overlook this. And we get a blank screen. We don't get any message at all. And you, you may encounter this as you work with PHP. And I, I did this deliberately to maybe give you a point of reference to help you in those situations. Uh, recall from an earlier video that we're running off of port 81. And if we don't put port 81 after localhost, we'll run into our conflict with Skype and you'll just get a blank screen. I've added the port 81, and we'll try that again, and we get the message PHP successfully connected to my database, which means both the connection call and the database selection call worked. In the next video, I'll show you how to put some data into my database, and after that we'll also do a script where we extract data from the database and uh, display it on a website.